After failing to reach a deal over the weekend, CUPE Local 3903 and its roughly 3,000 academic workers are now on strike. We know from the Auditor General's report that uh, the upper administration gave themselves really big salary increases while we were all illegally forced to take 1% increases uh, for the past three years during a pandemic. One of the main points of contention is over wages, specifically those lost due to Bill 124. The four governments' legislation suppressing public sector wage increases recently ruled as unconstitutional. We have retroactive wage increase demands. Um, like many public sector workers right now, we have demands that are really aimed at just helping us to catch up so that we can afford to eat and pay rent. York University is no stranger to job actions, and Peter Flaherty has been through four of them while teaching here, including 2018's, which lasted four months. I think the political situation, the economic situation today is quite different. I'm hoping for a short strike and a fair settlement. Still as supportive as students may be, they're naturally concerned about how a strike will affect their education. Like right now, some of my classes are suspended, and I don't know what's going on about my lectures. I just want to finish school as fast as possible so I feel like this gear might go on for like weeks maybe and it's gonna delay everything. They're fighting what they want to fight for, they fight for their rights but as far as me like I just want to get by this year to be honest. The university's administration wouldn't agree to an interview instead issuing a statement saying the university is ensuring that students learning needs remain the top priority. Contingency plans for all other aspects of university operations are in place and will be activated as required.